Now at 5.30, jail overcrowding in Johnston County has the sheriff looking for more cell space. But some people near a possible new jail site say they don't want it by their community. CBS North Carolina's Robert Richardson shows us inside the current lockup and the potential new location. We designed to hold 191. Today we're at 247. Uh, about three months ago, we had uh, 285. The jail here in Smithfield is currently so overcrowded, they're paying $50 a day to send a couple dozen inmates to places like Sampson County. And to do that for 20 inmates for three years, it would cost more than $1 million. Sheriff Steve Bizzle says that money needs to go to building a new jail. Commissioners voted four to three in favor of constructing a public safety complex on the edge of the city limits at Buffalo and Durwood Stevenson, with the no votes due to cost and location. Multiple Johnston County schools, playgrounds, and the Smithfield Recreation Center are all within a half mile. You have one, two, three schools right here. You have a bank right there. You have you know, residents. I feel like it's more safe out in the county and stays in its environment around houses, around the cheer and stuff like that, in case somebody break out of jail. But some others say they're not worried. They don't build jails for people to escape. If the jail is built properly, I don't see why what it would interfere with. Sheriff Bizzle says none of his inmates have ever gotten out, and he points out the current jail is downtown with a school, church, and businesses nearby. And county manager Rick Hester says he feels safe even with inmates right over his head. You see the uh, the, the long, uh, skinny windows up there? That's part of the detention center there, and then administrative offices are right there in the next level. The sheriff says for now, they'll keep putting extra mattresses on the floor. We don't like to. We don't want to but sometimes we have to. In Smithfield, Robert Richardson, CBS North Carolina. Now the sheriff does tell CBS North Carolina he hopes to get approval from the county and city of Smithfield in the next few months. The county manager says construction could begin in 2018 with a 2020 completion date. <laughs>